Hello and welcome back to my video. In this video I will show you how you can install Pi-hole on a Ubuntu server. But what is a Pi-hole? Pi-hole is the way you can remove uh, advertising in your browser when you browse around. If you only have one device, you probably have installed uh, Adblock and something like that in your browser. Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Opera, what you're, not, you're using now. But the nice thing with Pi-hole is you can block entire advertising on your network. That's why I use Pi-hole at home, because then I block everything before it's hitting the device, like mobile, laptop, and your computer. The first thing you want to do is install Git. Git so we can clone the repository from, from Pi-hole. Let's first install that. So do app install Git, and yes, we won't just install it without ask anything else. Now git is installed. The next one to do is clone pyhole. I will uh, just do it here and clone it up. When you have cloned it, you can go inside to pyhole, automate, install. And then you can use base install. Let's say it's to do base uh, install. basic install sorry and then we are starting to this root check that's fine disk space is okay and then it's continue now it's installed everything you need now we are installed and we are uh, ready to the next step and having everything here what do you want is up to you for now I just use uh, Google DNS it's fine for me and here is everything you want to do with the blocking list I'll say yes, and uh, I don't have IPv6, but I don't know about I get uh, IPv6 later, so I just leave this as okay. And my IP is 883, and later I will change to static IP address, so we have the right uh, pie hole. And now it's good, and your interface, web admin, and you say it's recommended, and yes, that's fine, and we want to log query. You could uh, say yes or no. I will say yes because I'm interested. My local network is, is trying to access. And I want to hit anything. Uh, no, show er anything, sorry. Because I want to see what IP address try to hit something. So if I need to block for this in, in a later use, I can do this. And then it's cloning done. This is the password, and we just save it. I will uh, change it after this video, so I don't worry about it. Just press OK, and then I just say clear. Now when it's done, I will continue in the browser. As you can see, you have uh, this screen when you go into your pie hole, and you can click for the administration. As default, you can just see the total query, one client, and domains to block, and something like that. If we are logged in here, I just type the password from the, from the we have uh, generated automatically, and uh, then you can say remember me in seven days, but I never want to do this, and then we can log in. When you are logged in, you can see a lot of states here, what you're trying to access, and Yes, that's how it's doing. So let's continue back for the for the terminal so we can change our IP address for the static IP address so it's not getting a dynamic IP address for the local network. So let's continue to change our IP address to a local uh, IP so all devices know this is our new DNS server. I will use a uh, netplan. It's a built-in for Ubuntu, and uh, you can find it here to see net uh, plane, and then the, this is the default one. When you go inside, I want to change something here. This is the network, DHCP, I want to say false, and then I want to say addresses.
in my case I want to say this is the 145 and 24 range and then I want to go inside here and say gateway my default gateway should be my router and this is my gateway here and then I want to say the name server name servers it should be here in one two three four and addresses should be here to say eight 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 whoops and eight eight four four Uh, that's it, and so do net plane apply. Okay, we have uh, a little mistake in our network in our network plane here. Let's check it out again. Okay, we're four. Sorry, this because it uh, should be uh, yes. And then we need to go to the browser one more time. And now you can see after we have uh, uh, changed our IP address, all my clients home, it's uh, continue to add here. And I block everything here so I can go for, for websites and, and see everything is done. Let's uh, go on a Danish website here and you will see no advertising over here. So that's how you can remove all the advertised without installing the blocks here so yeah home you will block everything and in company you will save a lot of traffic on your networking so thank you for watching this video i hope you are inspired to do this and i hope you want to subscribe my channel and of course share with your friends add it for your playlist and i will continue to create nice video for you thank you so much for your time and thank you for watching this video